How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to browse the web on the Kindle Touch. It's real simple. What you're going to do is uh, click on menu. Come down to where it says experimental. Tap on there. And then go to web browser. And then from there it will take you to Google. And you'll see in a second here or actually I was just on Facebook so it's going to take me to Facebook but normally it'll take you to Google and from there you can Google search different things so all you would do is just uh, tap in the address box at the top here and then we can go to any website let's see google.com keep in mind this is an experimental feature it's not a full version or not a full web browser, it does not support Flash. Uh, it's a very simple mobile version. So a lot of times, if you try to go to a, a, a certain website, it'll take you to the mobile version of it. But, I mean, as long as it works, that's the main thing. So uh, this is how you browse the web. Um, they have the back button right here. So if you want to go back to your previous uh, screen, you can go ahead and hit that. Um, Let's Google something real quick. Let's Google the Kindle Touch, actually. That'd be kind of funny. And I'll show you a couple more of the features. Kindle Touch. Okay. So we Google it. And what's cool is, so if you want to zoom in, two fingers, we're going to pinch. Pinch together if you want to zoom out. And if you want to zoom in, we're going to pinch and move out like that and then we can move the way you navigate the page is by just swiping up like that and that would take me down the page I'm gonna pinch in so I can see a, a bigger view and then I can just go all the way down the page like that and I can just swipe up and then also if you want to refresh the page refresh is right here tap on that Tap on menu right here and you get some other options. Come on down to, um, let's see, you can actually bookmark a page. Um, you can also look at your history. Click on browser settings. This is where you would actually clear your history or you can clear your cookies in case you visited a bunch of sites. Or you can disable images so that it will run a little bit quicker. So this is pretty much how you browse the web on the Kindle Touch. I want to show you real fast what history looks like. Let's tap on there. And this shows you all the different sites that I went to. And I can swipe up. And that's pretty much it. So, hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. And uh, keep watching and tell your friends. All right? Have a good one.